Okay, I just came across this problem here. Apparently the WR100 seems to be malfunctioning a little bit. After that required weekly test, as you can see. Camera won't even focus on it. There we go. See? Yep. That's fantastic, isn't it? Well, let's see if we can troubleshoot the problem. I know the batteries aren't low, because otherwise the indicator would have been lit. Let's uh, unplug, let's uh, take one of the batteries out. See what the deal is. And like I said, these batteries are not le are not almost dead. Oh, well, there are some there is some corrosion. There's some corrosion right there. But I'll see if I can get that cleaned up or not, and I'll come back. Okay, well, this is going to have to do. It's still not the best. But I did get it cleaned, I guess, somewhat. Well, not really. So basically what I did was I used a toothpick. Even though I shouldn't. Probably, even though this ain't meant for it. But I used some, whenever there's corrosion, I try to use a toothpick and just scrape the corrosion off. I mean, I didn't use two of those, and I haven't used the last one yet. So, we're going to see. Let's see here if we can get everything all reset here. Well, that almost, that's, almost didn't want to go back in. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let me clean the batteries, just in case that they add any um, moisture on them. Which I doubt they do, it's just to be safe, I'm just going to clean the batteries, just in case of any moisture or whatever. Let's see if we got any power, did I, oh wait, hold on, hold on, okay, there we go, oh, bad connection. Huh. It's got a bad connection somewhere. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Well, I guess we'll gotta do some more work with it. Hold on. That's not good. <laughs> Hold up. Alright, let me try it again. I hope this isn't out of commission. If it is if it is if it's starting not the work again then it's a good thing I record I recorded that required weekly test video We're just having some battery or I mean I do have the plug still okay so far so good oh now the battery low indicators lit that's not good and the bad news is I don't have any more AA batteries at, at this time that's not good Hmm. Sounds okay to me. I don't know why that battery indicator, low indicator is lit. Hmm. Okay. It sounds like. So yeah, but this, this, it's been, this has been, been having corrosion on it. For a, because, yeah. All right, let's reset the time. I'm not sure why that battery low indicator is lit because, oh, wrong way. Don't want to make too much beeping noises. So it's three, actually just about three, almost three. Or I'm sorry, 11.40 a.m. Also not to mention this clock on here has been too slow. I was saying there, the clock on, on here has been also running too slow as well. Sorry, I don't know why I paused there anyways. So, yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you have a corroded uh, weather radio. I mean, I clean, I kind of cleaned it decently though, but always keep, always keep check on your batteries because you never know. 
All right, let's go get all this. I got I still got to put the uh, WR100 and the WR120 back in place. And the Recom R1630 stays in my room. So, yeah, I'll go do that real quick. Oh, look at that. The battery low indicator went off. So that's a good sign. Those batteries are, I know those batteries aren't almost dead, I don't think. But like I said, this clock's also been running too slow as well. No, so let's go get this hooked back up. This one's and it goes in the office. Oh, I got a lowered antenna. I used to have it sitting right there, but it wasn't getting good reception. So we'll, let's see. Hold on just a second here. Okay, so it does have, like I said, I do have the plug for it as well. I, we still, I still have the plug for it, which is a good sign. All this stuff's falling down, which I'm not worried about right now. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Mississippi coastal waters. So that's working. You pick all this mess up that keeps falling down. All right, now let's go get the WR120 back in place. <clears throat> Actually, we should first while I'm in here. Gotta dust my room again, but I'll put the WR. Oh, I'm sorry, the Recom R1630 back there. Thursday, east winds around 20 knots. Seas four to six feet. Thunderstorms in the morning. Then showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Okay. Um. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go to where it says set event block and I'm gonna disable the required weekly test because sometimes my days and nights are mixed up and I don't want it uh, waking me up also I gotta do the same to this one change that to all default so therefore the, any the test or test won't alert out loud it will only display it because because again I don't sometimes my days and nights are mixed up don't want it waking me up. <clears throat> now there's nothing I can do about the WR100. It used to alert the test uh, by displaying them only, but displaying only, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, ever since I factory reset it, it has alerted out loud as well. Now this one I do have the plug for still. It actually has it fallen right here. The plug. Let's see, where's the port? Power. Bam. Okay, now let's make sure. Storms. Lows in the mid 70s. East wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. No, oh, camera's all out of focus. There we go. 50%. Friday. Shep. All right, that sounds good as well. All right, everyone. Well, that's pretty much it. I don't know why that WR100 was mouth. <clears throat> well, I probably, excuse me, I know why that WR100 was malfunctioning. It's because it had, had, not the batteries weren't corroded, it's just the contacts are. Anyways, thanks for watching. Drop a comment down, make sure y'all hit like, subscribe, tap the bell, and we will see you next time.